Hello, this is Vern, and if you're interested in finding out what are three common love lies that women fall for all the time, stick around because I'll be revealing what these are on my episode today. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave. I am excited and passionate to be sharing with you three common lies in love that women fall for all the freaking time. Uh, these are not necessarily lies that men blatantly tell women. Some of these lies, in some circumstances, are lies that women choose to assume that it will be the case because they feel such a strong sense of intensity with someone, which is pretty scary. So let me demystify them for you. In order of importance, here's the first one. Uh, the, this one is the, has caused more pain in the world than I can ever describe. And that's, he will leave her for me. If you find yourself bullshitting yourself in such a way that you think that the man that you're with, because he has a girlfriend or a wife, regardless of how painful he claims the relationship to be, is gonna leave that human being for you, I think that uh, it's, it's just not gonna fucking happen. Let me just brother to sister tell you this. If you were my sister and I were just hanging out with you, I would tell you stop wasting your fucking time with a man who's thinking that he's gonna leave someone for you or who's telling you he's gonna leave for you or worse, he's not even saying that, you're just assuming that he will. It's just not gonna fucking happen. It's one chance in maybe a million and I don't want you to waste your life energy thinking that you're that one in a million, not because you're not awesome or special or amazing, but because the intensity you feel has nothing to do with why he will leave her or not. Okay, and plus, why would you wanna be with a guy who's just being out of integrity with someone and then entering something in that kind of way with you, which probably means he's gonna do the same shit to you <laughs> further down the road. Run away from this type of guy as quickly as possible. Don't waste your life energy. Take it from me. I've heard this thing, this story thousands of times and uh, I'm, st I'm still waiting for that one that says, you know what? He actually left her for me. And not only that, we're really happy in the end. Okay. Number two, he just doesn't have the time. That's complete bullshit as well. I'm not saying that you should expect for a man to call you 10 times a day. That guy needs to get a life. Okay. But if you are with a guy and he's your guy, you're in an exclusive relationship with him or dating someone who's basically telling you he can't see you for an extended period of time. Everybody gets busy every now and then. But when someone says, I just don't have a time for a relationship, that just tells me that person doesn't want to make the time for a relationship. It's very different. And I absolutely are, if somebody wants to be honest with me and say, hey, I don't have time for a relationship because I don't want to fucking make the time. I'll take it. But when somebody says that their life is so busy for a relationship, they really can't. They want to, but they can't. I, I, I don't buy it because that person's pooping every single day. They have time to poop. They have time to drink water. They have time to pee. They have time to watch a few uh, games. They have time to be in Facebook. They have time to do anything that they feel is essential. So if someone doesn't feel like a relationship is essential and necessary in their life, then don't waste your time with them. Don't try to be the woman who's going to be so awesome that he changes his fucking mindset because of you. You don't have to prove to the world that you're awesome that way. And if you do, then you deserve to be with a guy <laughs> who doesn't have the time for you. But seriously, don't waste your time with someone who is claiming not to have the time. Face the reality, he doesn't want to do it. Okay? Number three, it will get better when. That's such a common lie. Okay? And you see someone who is waiting for shit to get better when they move in together. It doesn't happen. Or they are living together and things are not going well, but she's thinking it will get better when we get married. It's not gonna happen. The next level of commitment will only intensify whatever the fuck is going on in a relationship. So, my friend, my dear, if you ever catch yourself on this lie where you think that the, the commitment will make things better, it won't. Wait until things get better before you allow yourself to move forward in the level, next level of commitment, don't think that that will do it because 99 times out of 100, it won't. It may have some effect, but it may also make it much worse. Okay, so here you have it. Three common lies <laughs> women fall for. He will leave her for me. He just doesn't have the time. It will get better when. If you find this is helpful, 
useful and insightful, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or somewhere on your screen, you'll see a little pop-up show up that will allow you to sign up for a webinar that I'm hosting that's absolutely free and will show you how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Incredibly powerful stuff. And uh, as I mentioned before, it's free. <laughs> Thank you so much for connecting with me. If you have any questions, place a comment on this video or any of my other videos, and I promise to reply to you personally or create a video just for you. Mwah.